Hi my beautiful kids, today I'm going to show you how to do a quick and easy fried chicken. Normally there's two ways I do my fried chicken but today I'm going to show you the way I do it when I'm cooking for my family at home. So for this recipe you're going to need some baggy chicken seasoning, some all purpose, a little bit of salt, some orange seasoning, some garlic powder and some water so first thing I'm going to do is to just pour the water on the chicken and I've already washed and cleaned the chicken with water and vinegar so now I'm just going to pour the water on the chicken and you kind of want the water to cover the chicken okay so just pour stop I'm going to add about a tablespoon of chicken seasoning, tablespoon of all purpose, tablespoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of salt and for the orange season we're going to use half because we're going to save some for our breading our breading is what we normally just call flour but you need to season it and the correct name for seasoning your flour is breading so we're just going to scoop out a little bit in there like that I'm just going to rub that out just like that we're going to leave this to marinate for 20 to 25 minutes and I'm going to come back and show you how to season your breading so see you in a bit so guys now I'm going to season my flour so I'm just going to go in with a little bit of garlic powder and the orange season and I'm just going to mix all of that in the orange season then um, it gives the chicken color yes it does the orange seasoning it gives the chicken color as well as flavor so you're not you don't want to have the chicken well seasoned and you're breading the coating for the chicken flat so you, you have to season your flour as well so we're just going to now put this aside and preheat our oil I'll be doing this fried chicken in my handy dandy Dutch pot yes of course you can always use a deep fryer if you have one yeah but with the deep fryer you're going to use a lot more oil than you would use in your Dutch pot so today I'm going to show you the Dutch pot way so my beautiful people before the oil gets hot you need to coat your chicken in the flour so let's just do that so you're going to take a piece of the chicken and drain off the excess seasoning water and you're going to pop, pop it in the flour like that you're going to use your other hand and rub it fold it in the flour like this we're going to then shake off the excess flour and put it in a different plate you're going to repeat the process Remember to drain off the excess seasoning water, put it in the flour, and then put the flour on it. Make sure you get the chicken well coated in the breading. 
and you're going to shake off the excess flour once you're finished like this so you're going to do this a couple more times until you finish until you've completed coating all the chicken pieces so now I'm going to put the pieces of chicken in my frying pot do not crowd your pot because you want to be able to turn them over and then you're going to let it fry for 20 to 25 minutes until finished So now I'm going to remove these pieces because they're finished. So you want to drain them off before you put them on a cooling rack or some hand towels on a tray. Look at that color guys. Oh, so lovely. So guys, you know those little pieces that burns off in your oil? They can cause your chicken to burn when you put in your second set. So if you have a metal strainer, you're just going to run it through the oil like this. And any crumbs that comes up, yeah, you get all of them out because these can burn your chicken. So you're just going to take them out. And now I'm going to put you in the rest of my chicken. You see how wonderful those look guys? Just going to let them cool. And then I'm going to break our bite into one and show you how the inside looks. So there you have it guys, my homemade juicy fried chicken. Look at that color guys, so wonderful. So now I'm going to bite into one for you so you can see it. See? all fried so there you have it guys my juicy homemade fried chicken don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye